Welcome back to The Peric Project. I'm Gila Ross, host of the Power Up podcast. I'm a mom of eight and one of the things I'm passionate about is sharing how much relevant wisdom Judaism has for our modern day lives. And on The Peric Project, I love to share ideas and thoughts in short bursts that can get you thinking about modern day topics. Generally, human nature is such that we find it hard to give people the respect that they deserve. So Rabbi Elasa is going to give us a very novel concept about how we should deal with this when it comes to our relationship between students, between friends and between teachers. Now, who was this Rabbi Elasa? So, He was someone who lived a very long life and he was once asked why did he merit to sit to live for such a long time and he said the reason why he he merited such a long life is because he always showed regard for other people in fact there's an amazing anecdote that's told about him that once he was on the shore and he saw that a, a ship had sunk And there was a Roman who was the lone survivor of that ship. And he had lost everything, including his clothes. So what he did, Rabbi Laza, he went and he helped that Roman. And he bought bought him food and clothing. And he helped him until he was up on his feet again. And then they parted ways. And many years later, there was a Roman who was in charge, who had been elected um, to rule. And he was very anti-Semitic and Revelosa went to him as to, to try and speak and see if things they could smooth things over. And the Roman recognized him because that Roman official was the Roman, the naked Roman that Revelosa had helped many years ago. And when he recognized him, he was able to annul all the anti-Semitic decrees and laws that he had put into place. So we see that Rabbi Laza is well placed to give us relationship advice. So he tells us that we should be as careful with our students' respect as we would for our friends. We should realize that the accomplishments of our students, whether they're our students or our kids, are partly ours and as such we should give them respect and in fact Moses our our holy leader Moses teaches us this when it came to speaking to his student Joshua about the going into battle against fighting the Amalekites he didn't say go choose men he said to him let us choose men he gave him that respect to treat him as though he's an equal incidentally we're told that it's a good thing for our students or our kids to honor us why because it helps them learn to learn from us but we on on our part have to make sure that it doesn't get to our heads And with regards to our colleagues, our peers, we should respect them as much as we would respect a teacher. What does this mean? When a person respects a teacher, they don't expect a reciprocal relationship. They, They give respect and they don't necessarily expect the same level of respect back and that's the 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 mindset that we should have when it comes to our relationships that we should give respect but we shouldn't demand respect in return obviously it doesn't mean that we put ourselves out in a way that is that we could get hurt god forbid but it does mean that we 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 free ourselves from this expectation that it's going to have to be reciprocal And thirdly, for our teachers, he tells us we should respect them as much as we respect God. Because we we access eternity through our teachers, but obviously not more than we respect God. So what we see here, the idea that he's giving us is that human nature is it's difficult to give respect. So we have to overcompensate by over honoring others. It's amazing how when we learn, we could do better. So in case we think that ignorance is bliss, let's listen to what Rabbi Yehuda has to say. But before we get to that, let me share with you a powerful idea that Rabbi Yehuda tells us. He says, 
that you could tell the essence of a person by their cup, their pocket, and the anger. What does he mean by that? He means that the true personality of a person comes out under three circumstances. Number one, when they've had a bit to drink, a bit of alcohol, their true personality comes out. Number two, when money is involved, it's amazing. When money is involved, people's true personality comes out. And number three, when their temper is tested. And these three ways are how we tell the true essence of a person. Now here he's going to tell us that there's this popular idea that ignorance is bliss. But he's going to argue and say that no. He says we have to be very careful that we understand what we learn. We have to constantly review so that so that we don't forget why because imagine there's a person and it's dark and they're walking around and they're bumping into things and they're breaking things would we hold them accountable no of course not there's no light they're doing their best what can they do but imagine that person is holding a lamp in their hand and they're not putting it on and they're walking around and they're breaking things because of it. At that point, the person becomes responsible because switch the light on. And he's telling us the same thing. He's telling us that if we are careless, if we have the opportunity to learn to do better and to understand to do better and we choose out of carelessness, not because we tried and we couldn't, but out of carelessness not to do better, then it's no longer considered an avoidable mistake, but it's considered something that that we've actually failed. So he, so so it's important to understand that when we have the opportunity to learn and to apply that learning, we we can't say ignorance is bliss because ignorance is not bliss if we have the opportunity to switch on the light and do better. Thank you so much for listening to these ideas about, number one, how we should compensate for our human nature by over-respecting other people. And number two, how ignorance is not bliss if we have the opportunity to avoid it. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. You can get in touch with me via Instagram. You can find me on Gila Ross. And if you found these ideas interesting and thought-provoking, follow us for future episodes share and leave us a review. Thank you so much for listening.